So you've got your domain, but now you need hosting because the domain alone won't get you online. There's many, many companies out there that you could use. There's uh, cloud companies, there's um, lots of companies basically. I tend to use SiteGround, why? I've had a pretty good um, relationship with them. I'm not affiliated with them in any way whatsoever, but the customer service I get from them is brilliant. There will be people that like SiteGround, don't like SiteGround, just like they like Bluehost or loads of other companies, GoDaddy, whatever, make your own mind up. I will always advise you though, don't just go for the cheapest option like GoDaddy and things like that, because it might hurt you later on when you come to realize some of the additional costs you gotta pay. So with SiteGround, we have the very basic web hosting, the startup, which is $2.99 per month, okay? Add on VAT 20% or whatever you're paying um, where you are internationally, that's gonna be your cost. The cost does jump up to 12 pounds plus VAT a month, but however, for that first year, this is where you may make the choice of whether is your business doing well or is your website servicing your purposes. So it's a relatively small cost to pay out. And also, like I said, the customer service with SiteGround is top notch. After the year, you can actually move to a different host if you want. And that's the beauty about WordPress. If you use Squarespace or Wix, you're stuck with Wix, Squarespace and others, all right? With a WordPress website, you can change host. You can pick up your website, well not literally pick it up, virtually pick it up, and put it over to somewhere else. So don't worry too much about if you don't like the cost for year two or year three. I'm just letting you know about that. So what you could do here is you could literally click get plan, okay? You get free email, okay? You get free SSL, that's your site security certificate, okay? That's the padlock that you're gonna need on your website if you're e-commerce or you wanna gain trust, okay? If you go with some other companies like GoDaddy or 123 Reg or other places, they don't always give you the certificate. So you pay for your domain, you pay for your hosting, and then they go, oh, you want email? That's an extra four or five pound a month. You want a site security certificate? That's an extra two or three pounds a month. And you sit there going, well, hold on a second. It's no longer cost effective. That's because they grabbed and hooked you with a deal, which wasn't really worth, the, worth a lot, really. So look, I use SiteGround, we have a, we have a, a bigger package so we can um, put our clients onto there as part of our hosting, but if you're getting it for yourself, the startup package might be more than enough for you. If you're an agency or you're looking to create websites for people, you might wanna go for the Grow Big or the Go Geek one, okay? But have a think about that. And what you do is you click Get Plan, okay? And then you will then, you know, at this point here though, bear in mind though, um, you're not going to register a new domain because we've got that with 123reg. And I'm going to show you how we then connect the domain from 123reg to our hosting. It is dead, dead simple, okay? But what you would do is you would just, you wouldn't actually, you would put in your domain, okay? So we'll just go inroundwebsites.co.uk and then you proceed. And then what you'll do is you will register, pay for it, and then... By the way, the reason it's saying it's not registered, okay, is because it's with um, 123 Reg, okay, so we ignore that, but you will just proceed, you will pay for it, and now we're going to move on to how do we connect the domain and the hosting together.